Super hilarious guy. Give it up for Ping Ding, guys. Come on for right now. What's up, everybody? Woo! Woo! That's, uh, that's, that's my uncle's name. Thank you for the shout out. <laughs> uh, like you guys. Uh, you guys laugh at easy jokes. <laughs> The expectation is very low. <laughs> I think it's interesting how everybody just lowered their expectations during COVID though. Like, look at all the restaurants here. Uh, since when did the best advertisement for a restaurant uh, become We Are Open? <laughs> I remember when they used to care. They used to put out exciting statements like Soup of the Day, Catch of the Week, uh, We Accept EBTs. <laughs> Now it's just, yeah, the doors are not locked. <laughs> uh, that's not my usual opener. Uh, I usually start a show by saying I'm from China. Can't do that anymore. <laughs> now it just sounds like a threat. <laughs> you know, it's recently at the airport, uh, everybody's wearing masks, so the TSA had to do this. Scan your ticket, check your ID, sir, pull off your mask. All right, you're good, next. Uh, when it comes to my turn, I had to show them my Chinese passport, and I was about to pull out my mask, and he goes, no, 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 you keep it on. <laughs> I trust you. I went right through it, it's like a superpower. <laughs> I got two Arab guys behind me going, man, this is bullshit. <laughs> Why are we getting the random searches? <laughs> I uh, came to this country 10 years ago, went to college uh, in Alabama. Yeah, that's the correct response. <laughs> um, it was cool, learned about the civil rights movement. Uh, the first semester, it was MLK Day. Uh, school had to put us in the bus to go visit Miss Rosa Parks Museum. And the whole time on the bus, I was thinking, man, the only parks I know are Koreans. <laughs> Like, who is this sassy Korean lady? <laughs> she sat in the front row seat and refused to leave? I'm like, yeah, typical Koreans. <laughs> and then I saw her picture, I was like, wow, she looks kind of dark for a Korean. You sure she's not Filipino? <laughs> right, I like this part, you guys <laughs> I sat in a room, uh, not a big fan of civil rights movement. <laughs> uh, had a college roommate, Adam. Uh, one time he was like, Pong, let me show you something you've never seen in China before. I was like, hell yeah, it's gonna be groundbreaking technology. Uh, turns out he just showed me a bunch of sex ads on Craigslist. <laughs> and he said, hey, don't try to call these numbers, buddy, because some of them might be cops. Uh, I was really confused looking at all the hot girl pictures. I went, ooh, hot girl, oh, she might be a cop. Another hot girl, oh, she also might be a cop. Uh, but then this one girl, she says, no African-American men, please. I'm like, come here, Adam. <laughs> this one, uh, she's definitely not a cop. Like, if I know anything about cops in America, they're not gonna go, oh, guys, let's run a sting operation on Craigslist. But you know what? Let's leave the black people alone. <laughs> they had it rough already. <laughs> it's definitely not a cop. <laughs> um, I met this uh, basketball player um, from Slovakia. Uh, his name is David. I hate that guy. Because he acts like he's better than other immigrants. Like, but he insists that we call him by his ethnic name. Like, oh, my name is not David. It's David. David Nicole Pentovich. I'm like, speak English, motherfucker. <laughs> David Nicole Pentovich. Just shut up and dribble. <laughs> Go play for the Mavericks. Go earn your ethnic name. <laughs> I hate it when the white immigrants act like they run the country. Uh, there's even a song about it. You guys know Led Zeppelin, right? Uh, Led Zeppelin is a band from England, and they wrote a song called Immigrant Song. 
Uh, and that song is about how white immigrants coming into this country just ah ah just the cockiest immigrant you ever seen. <laughs> they sound like they were about to invade a Chick Fil A. <laughs> Real immigrants don't sound like that. <laughs> like, I know my friend Martin wasn't crossing the border going, ah, 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 ah. I come from the land of the ice and snow. <laughs> yeah, real immigrants don't come from ice. Uh, we run from ice. <laughs> year for Asian people in this country. Uh, it's been a very tough year. Um, we just had a mass shooting, a mass shooting in Atlanta. This guy, crazy guy, went to three Asian businesses, shot and killed six Asian women, and then proceed to leave the scene in a Hyundai Tucson. I'm like, yo, if you hate Asians, do it right. Don't drive our cars. Right? How can you love guns but hate Asians? We invented gunpowder. Right? No Asians, no gunpowder, no gunpowder, no American Revolution. And all the white people in this country will still be talking quite like the British. You're welcome. Yeah, can't live without Asians. Because Asians are smart, uh, we invent stuff, but we don't take credit. Uh, that's why you know the Chinese invented gunpowder. You don't know who. What? Might have been a guy named who? You know? I don't know. Uh, and white people, you guys are the opposite because you guys invent shit, but you take credit. Uh, it started when you were a kid. Even if you just draw a fucked up looking picture, your parents would be so proud. Like, oh my god, Trevor, this is so amazing. You're so amazing. Let me put it on the fridge. But meanwhile, some Asian kid made that fridge. <laughs> you don't even know his name. There's no Asian kid named Canmore. That can piss me off. Man, um, two weeks ago, uh, on a Sunday night, I went to downtown Dallas for the Stop Asian Hate Rally. Uh, downtown Dallas, Sunday night, it was business as usual. There was no boarded up window. I'm like, fuck, you think I won't do it? <laughs> like, fuck you, Target, show some respect. <laughs> they don't take us seriously. <laughs> they don't take us seriously because we don't run the country. Uh, and you can always tell who run the country just by the way they protest. Like, white people, your protest is more demanding. Uh, your chants are tough. Like, Stop the count, storm the capital, hand my pants, Jews will not replace us. <laughs> it give us a really long to-do list. <laughs> it's very demanding. Like, Asian protests, we didn't even say yellow lives matter. We just want you to stop messing with us. <laughs> just stop being mean to us. extra soy sauce, whatever you want, we're open. But uh, after the protest, I was smoking a cigarette outside and a homeless person came up to me asking for money. Uh, so I gave him a dollar and this guy took the dollar, immediately changed his face. He said, uh, excuse me, sir. Can I just buy a cigarette from you? I'll give you a dollar. I'm like, bro, are you trying to buy a cigarette from me with my money? Like, what's going on? I was really confused. But we still did the transaction. <laughs> That's when I realized, man, this guy is actually super smart. He knows my weakness. Uh, because there are two things in this world a Chinese person cannot resist. Uh, lending money to America, Oh 
and selling stuff that costs a dollar. <laughs> hey, that's my time, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out, you guys. I'm gonna love this guy. He needs no introduction. You've seen him on Kill Tony's show. Give it up for the one and only Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> One more time for the filthy little fucking chink that was just up here. All you fucking race trainers are hooping and hollering. I'm back there watching you puking in a fucking bucket. Oh, we make it a gunpowder. Oh, you want extra soy sauce. Oh, you borrow money from us. And you guys just eating it up, you fucking pussies. Look at you. It, you fucking fake bitches in this room. I don't even want to make you guys laugh. I don't even like you anymore. It's fucking Chinese people, can they, they find out we have flying bats every night and here they come. Ooh, flying super. And you guys just eating up the liberal chicks, just holding strong, can't even smile at this, huh? No way, we can't even bend. This guy's being serious. He must have hate in his blood. We live so far east of the 35. How can I look my Asian nerd barista in the eyes tomorrow if I laugh at this? There's fucking pussies everywhere. I'm so sick of this fucking shit. I'm so sick of it. I left Los Angeles for this. I left LA, I, I, got, I got away from all those fucking liberal smartasses just to move here around a bunch of liberal dumbasses. All my friends fucking lied to me. Joe Rogan, Ron White, they're liars. They said, get out of LA, move here, get away from the traffic and homeless people. And here I am, think of the douchebaggery in the front row of this fucking leopard shirt. This guy's dressed like fucking Enzo Amore over here. You know that reference, huh? Fuck yeah, you guys deal drugs. How do you guys all know each other? What kind of fucking... <laughs> okay, good. Is it a punk band or something? I'm getting punk vibes? Yeah, very good. I love it. You guys are adorable. I've never seen a pig dressed like a cheetah before. This is absolutely sweet. Oh, I got the liberal girls to laugh at that. You're laughing at making fun of a fat man, huh? I'm making fun of the fat boy in front of you. Pussies everywhere. I'm so sick of it. Can't say things anymore without oohs and fucking ahs. Can't say the words that made me famous. Not allowed to say the C word, because you know who will get mad. <laughs> Give you a hint, it's not men. And it's not women with a sense of humor. It's cunts. Cunts, cunts will get mad if you say the C word 100% of the time. It's just a fact. Performing in front of you guys. I love Austin, Texas. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to it. People keep asking me, Tony, when are you going to start dressing like a Texan? And I'm here to tell you, I've tried. And I end up looking like Gay Woody from Toy Story. I look like I'm going to film a gay porn called Boy Story. There's a snake in my bed. No, you're just shaking your head no at that one lady. Why? What are you saying? Why no? Why no? Why are you going like that aggressively? You don't like the joke or you don't think I look like a gay Woody from Toy Story? I do? So why were you shaking your head no? Because you were picturing a snake in my butt or something? I'm curious. Do you know why you were shaking your head no at a comedy show? Why? Why was it? My joke wasn't funny while the rip-roaring response around you, but I love it. You just didn't think it was funny. I love that. You must be so much fun. I bet you have the most best good friends. High-quality people all around you. Fuck yeah. Whoop-de-whoop. whoop de 
Pokey Woo! I like this fucking guy's style over here. I like you, sir. You're a fucking smart guy. What do you do for a living? NBA? NBA. Oh, okay. Total difference there. Uh, it's gonna be, I was really surprised when you said NBA. I was like, wow, this is the point guard of all point guards right here. I fucking love it. CPA. I love it. You're built like a CPA. What are you doing hanging out with these two? You know these two? It's a fucking good looking couple. You're the fucking super third wheel on this one, huh? You this guy's accountant? What's going on? What? How, the hell are you? How are you guys friends, though? I don't really see this happening. You have real Kevin Federline vibes, and you're hanging out with this fucking power nerd over here. How, how, how did you guys meet each other? High school, that makes sense. Right before you dropped out and he kept going, you guys made friends. Cheated off his papers, stole his milk. That's why he clearly has a calcium deficiency to this day. Tiny little forearms. I have tiny forearms too. I can make these jokes. I can also make jokes about fucking Chinese people if I want to. Ha <laughs> Still got you frowning over there. Got you frowning. I made fun of a Chinese. I made fun of Chinese people. They have the worst sense of humor, by the way. Out of all the Asians, I've been doing this a long time. I'm here to tell you, Chinese have the worst sense of humor. They really do. Japanese people, strong laughers. <laughs> Koreans, pretty good, right? <laughs> Chinese people laugh like this. They just don't get it, man. I was doing Chinese jokes here the other day, and uh, like a Chinese guy came right here to the front of the stage, stood there. You guys were there for that? Yeah. Oh, wow, it's the same. I love it. Nothing better than having the same audience every fucking week. That's great. Great move. Thanks, Joe, for getting me to move to Austin, away from tons of millions of different people and tourists that I can perform in front of the same fucking people from Pflugerville every week. It's fantastic. Great, thank you. It's the same sold-out crowd every show. Awesome. Perfect. Sweet. Great for stand-up. Anyway, this fucking Chinese guy standing right there. I'm like, what's the problem, dude? You know, these tables are all packed. He's like, you make fun of Chinese people, I'm gonna beat you up. So I do 12 more minutes of Chinese jokes right to this guy's face. Chinese jokes I never even had before. The adrenaline takes over and I'm just going Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. Like, you gotta go back to your seat, dude. You know, this is how that fucking virus started, is people like you breaking the rules. There's a whole thing. He tried to, he tried to comp made a move to the stage and security fucking grabbed him. And on his way out, I go, now that's what I call Chinese takeout. <laughs> Legendary, thank you so much. I changed my socks, somebody gave me Chinese takeout socks. Yeah. Is, that, is that you? Yeah, they're fucking great, by the way. I was wearing them earlier, but then I took a nap and changed completely, as you could tell. First world problems. <laughs> That's your, you're absolutely, thank you, sir, for that input. That is what rich people do. They change their socks. You know what's up. Very, very good. Very wise man. That's what rich people do. They're changing their socks. Look at, look at how fun this table is. You guys are so silly. I can't imagine what you guys are going to be doing at like 3 or 4 a.m. tonight. Don't want to know. Right? What's the craziest drug you guys do, right? You guys seem like a real Kratom crew or something like that, right? You guys fucking drinking Kratom over there? It seemed like you've run out of drugs to do. Like, you're just chasing dragons. Now, I do know what Kratom is because you can use the promo code Kill Tony and give us a bunch of fucking money. I know what I'm saying. Trust me, if they didn't sponsor podcasts, I'd have no fucking clue what Kratom was. Same reason I know what ZipRecruiter is. That one's just the word Tony, though, so be careful. Don't, don't kill in there, else we don't get credit. Ugh. Everything sucks, everything sucks. I got Hulu. Here's a joke I'm trying. <laughs> I got Hulu. How many of you are Hulu people here? We're running out of things to watch. We need to everybody, so we're running out of shit. You don't like Hulu, sir? What's your beef with Hulu? That's right, very good, okay, there you go. Someone's not changing his socks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Same sock Jenkins over there. What? What? Say it one more time. What? He's gonna buy you shots after the show. Okay, no you're not. 
<laughs> I, I would love to, but I, but I have other shit to do. I have unbelievably <laughs> awesome shit to do right after this. <laughs> Performing in front of all the people that couldn't get tickets to that Rogan show around the corner right now. <laughs> but I'm still on it. I got Hulu, and it sucks, and you're right, and I pay for that shit. And the other day, I'm watching something on Hulu with my paid motherfucking subscription, and what comes on? A commercial on a paid fucking subscription. What the fuck? Thank you so much, sir. Keep doing that the whole show. Comedians love it when you really participate. <laughs> Especially when you're in C1A in front of only us and only we can really hear you. It's great. Do it all night. They love that shit. You're the best. You're a dream audience. Maybe, maybe take maybe less sugar-free Red Bull for you next time. You know, it's all good. Oh, it's not gonna work now. Too much fucking... Too much hoopla around it. Let's do something else. This Hulu joke sucks anyway. It ends with me uh, lighting the building on fire. It ends with me saying I'm gonna light the building on fire and rig the sprinkler system to instead of spray water to play commercials for two minutes. That's what the joke's gonna be. You're gonna see it. I know all of you are coming back in a week or two and you're gonna see it then. Caitlyn Jenner just announced, I got all the way from Los Angeles. I was there for 14 years. I've lived here now for four months. And there it is. Caitlyn Jenner now running for governor of California. You guys see this shit? I lived in California. Let me tell you something. I know who lives in, I know who votes in California. This bitch could win. <laughs> Everyone with Trump was like, show us your taxes. With Caitlyn, I'm like, show us your pussy. <laughs> what did you do? What does it look like down there? I want to know, what did you do? What does that inside-out Olympic fucking pussy look like? We need to see this shit. She could be lying for clout. I want to see that fucking... I want to see that fucking gold medal fucking beef steak. You know what I mean? I want to know what it looks like. Is there like a little curly, like a Teletubby head or something like that? Like an Arby's curly fry? She could win. She could fucking win. We have a wheelchair governor in here. That's cool as fuck. I'm pretty sure I saw him perform earlier. That's awesome. It's fun that the governor, fun that the governor's popping in on a uh, red band's show. <laughs> Love this. Blind Dave Chappelle is being drawn over here. If anybody wants a painting of Blind Dave Chappelle. Uh, I just wanted to pop in, and really, my whole goal while I was here is, was to work out the Hulu joke that I never got through, and, uh, but that's the fun in this art form, is sometimes you fucking shoot it, shoot a shot, it doesn't work out, right? You're mad, you're shaking your head too. Blonde chicks love shaking their head here tonight, huh? Bunch of angry blondes here tonight, gotta love that. What happened earlier? Were you guys all engaged to a Chinese guy at one point? He broke your heart and I came up here to hey, dee, 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 dee. You must fucking hate me. I love it. All right, well, this is my kind of party. Uh, that's my time. I'm Tony Hinchcliffe. Welcome to the show. Just doing some reps, you know?